Those new poll numbers out today mark yet another low point in the Obama presidency. Americans surveyed in this latest ABC News Washington Post poll say they're dissatisfied with the president's leadership on a number of issues, including immigration reform and Islamic State militants. Just take a look right here. When asked if they thought Mr. Obama was a strong leader, 55% of respondents said no. And the number of people who think the president is a strong leader drops significantly. That number is now just 43%. The poll also found that 52% of respondents think President Obama has been too cautious when dealing with ISIS, and 65%, 65% say they are in favor of extending U.S. airstrikes into Syria. Well, today, President Obama will meet with congressional leaders to discuss his updated strategy to combat ISIS, and then tomorrow, of course, he'll deliver that speech to Americans on the eve of the September 11th anniversary. The president believes the U.S. air power is the way to gain control over ISIS, and he continues to promise not to put additional U.S. troops on the ground unless regional allies do more. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest defended the president's leadership and says people in the Mideast are the ones who need to take the lead on fighting ISIS. I think the president, again, in the interview that we're all citing, described it uh, as a profound mistake to commit American combat boots to on, being on the ground in Syria. This is not a fight that the United States can take on for them. Well, Ernest went on to say that the administration will also continue to support the Syrian opposition as they work to establish a new government in opposition to President Bashir Assad. Meanwhile, Senator Ted Cruz insists that President Obama can only take further military action if he gets congressional approval for his new ISIS strategy. It is incumbent on him to come to Congress and lay out his strategy so that we and the American people are clear on it. Well, in just about 45 minutes, minutes, President Obama will meet with Secretary of State John Kerry before he heads to the Mideast to drum up support, and then the President will have that meeting with congressional leadership from both parties about 3.45 this afternoon. And TMZ says the NFL never watched that knockout video and never asked the Atlantic City Hotel where the assault happened to see it. The league did ask police for information, but police rejected them reportedly, saying that it was an active investigation. As for Rice, of course, he's been kicked off the Ravens and suspended from the NFL indefinitely. Baltimore Ravens head coach John Harbaugh says his organization will do whatever they can to help Ray and his wife Janae moving forward, but insists that yesterday was the first time that he too saw this video. It's something we saw for the first time today, you know, all of us. And uh, it changed things, of course. You know, it made things a little bit different. We, meanwhile, fans of the Baltimore Ravens have reacted to the news. A lot of them are turning in their jersey. Also, Janae Rice continues to defend her husband and says that if the media's intention were to hurt their family, they have succeeded.